Question number one. How many tangents can a circle have? That means you have to tell that how many tangents you can draw on a circle. Okay. In a just now you see circle. See on the circle infinite points are there. Yes, right. So from each point I can draw a tangent. See like this. In each point I can draw a tangent to a circle. Therefore, infinite tangents we can draw for a circle. Question number 2, first part. A tangent to a circle intersect it in dash point. You know that. What is the definition of tangent? Tangent means what? A line which intersected the circle at only one point. So, here what is your question? Tangent to a circle intersect in Dash point, that means only one point. That's all. Question number two, second part. A line intersecting a circle in two points is called dash. See, a circle. A line intersect the circle at two points. Then I can tell that this line is called secant. This line is called what? Secant. One more thing I want to tell you. A line intersected the circle and two points is called the secant. But in that line, one line segment is also there inside the circle. This is called, this line segment is called chord. Okay, this is the difference between chord and secant. Third part of second question. A circle can have dash parallel tangent at the most. See? A circle. How many parallel tangents you can make? See? Only two. Fourth one. The common point of a tangent to a circle and the circle is called dash. Question number two, fourth part. The common point of a tangent to a circle and the circle is called what? You have to tell that Name of the common point of a tangent to a circle. Tell me. Tangent means what? First of all. Tangent means a line which intersects the circle at only one point. Then we can tell that line is called tangent. Now you see what is the common point here? That is point P. So that point is called what? In the basic we already seen that is called the point of contact. Question number 3. A tangent PQ at a point P of a circle of radius 5 cm meets a line through the center O at the point Q so that OQ equal to 12 cm. What is the length of the PQ? That is your question. So draw the figure for this statement first of all. Okay. O is the center of the circle. PQ at the tangent PQ at a point P. That means tangent is there at a point P. Q is a tangent at a point P. So I have drawn. Radius 5 cm meets a line through the center O. Radius is how much given to you? 5 cm. At a point Q, so that OQ which is equal to 12 cm. So, you have to join OQ that is 12 cm given to you. Okay. Then, find out the length of PQ. Find out the length of PQ. You have to find out the length of PQ. So, now tell me one triangle I have that is OPQ. We already seen in 10.1 theorem. Radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. Therefore, angle P is what? 90 degree. This is a right angle triangle. So, I have already two sides. Can you find out the third side? Definitely we can find out by Pythagoras theorem. So, first of all, write it here. Angle P which is equal to 90 degree by theorem 10.1. You have to mention the statement here. Don't write theorem 10.1. Okay. Therefore, triangle OPQ is right angled triangle. 
at a point P. Okay. Then apply Pythagorasium by by Pythagoras theorem we can write OQ square that is hypotenuse square which is equal to base square plus perpendicular square I have written okay by Pythagoras theorem so now you tell me what is OQ that is 12 square OP that is 5 square plus PQ square as it is divided. 12 square is what 144 5 square is 25 plus PQ square. So I want to find out PQ length. So bring that 25 this side. 144 minus 25 that is 119 equal to PQ square. Square from this side do the under root. Under root of 119 which is equal to PQ. That is your answer. Question number 4. Draw a circle and two lines parallel to a given line such that one is tangent and the other are secant to a circle. Like that you have to draw. Here what you have to do? Draw a circle. So I have drawn a circle with the center O. Okay. Another one thing is given. To a given line you have to make two parallel lines. So I am doing here AB that is a given line. Okay, you have to make two parallel lines to the given line. So, I am making C, one parallel line I made here, CD, another one parallel line made here, that is XY. This suppose I am marking P. Okay, let us see now, according to your, to your question, to the given line you have to make two parallel lines. So, I made one is CD. Another one is XY. I made the two lines parallel to AB. So, okay. You have to prove that one more thing. One, from that two lines, one should be tangent, another is secant. So, check now. What is that C? CD is called secant to a circle. Secant. Why it is secant? A line which intersects the circle at two points. So, two point I am keeping E and F. Okay. See, very clearly I am telling once again, CD is a line which intersected the circle at two points that is E and F. That two points, see, if you are taking EF, up to EF you are taking, that, e, that EF is line segment. EF is called what? Core of circle. Secant is what? A line which intersects to the circle are two points. The total line you have to take. So what is the total line name? That is CD. Secant is what? A CD line. Understands clear to you? Go for the another one. XY is a line intersect to the circle at only one point. So we can tell that we already seen this statement in the basic concepts. So now XY is what? Tangent. Because the line intersected the circle at one point. That's why it is tangent. A line intersected the circle at two points. That's why that two point EF is called what? Chord of a circle. But the particular line is called secant to a circle.